Next here we are going to discuss about uh, the epidemiological classification of Kaposi sarcoma. Here we have four types under epidemiological classification. The first one is called as a chronic which is also called as a classic type or European Kaposi sarcoma. The second one is called as lymphadenopathic or African or endemic Kaposi sarcoma. And the third one is the transplant associated Kaposi sarcoma. And the last one is the acquired immunodeficiency syndrome associated Kaposi sarcoma or we can say AIDS associated Kaposi sarcoma or epidemic Kaposi sarcoma. So all these are the four types of Kaposi sarcoma according to epidemiological classification. So we have to discuss all these four types in detail. So first let me talk about uh, the chronic or classic or European Kaposi sarcoma. What it is? Chronic or classic or European Kaposi sarcoma. So in every type we need to discuss about what are the predominant risk groups and what are the anatomical lesions and what is the prognosis. So all these points we need to discuss in all the four types. So first let us discuss about what are the predominant, predominant risk groups. Remember this is very very important. What are the predominant risk groups? So chronic or classic or European Kaposi sarcoma occur in elderly men. Elderly men. NCQ question. Elderly men often age which is of greater than 60 years of Eastern European origin. So what is the age usually greater than 60? So what is the race European origin? Right? European origin especially Ashkenazi Jewish. Right? Ashkenazi Jewish or Mediterranean descent, right? So Mediterranean, Mediterranean descent. So it is more commonly seen in the elderly men. Age is greater than 60 years and the race is European, often especially Ashkenazi Jews or Mediterranean descent. So when we are talking about elderly men, often we can say that it has a male predominance. So male is to female ratio is 3 is to 1. This is also important MCQ question. Right? So these are the predominant risk groups. More commonly seen in the elderly men. Men as well as female ratio, male female ratio is 3 is to 1. Age is greater than 60 years. More commonly seen in the European origin. There is a reason we are calling it as a chronic, classic or a European Kaposi sarcoma. In European origin also, most often seen in Ashkenazi Jews or Mediterranean descent. Right? Now let us talk about the lesions. Here, first let me talk about the cutaneous lesions. cutaneous lesions of classic or chronic or European Kaposi sarcoma. So the cutaneous presentation is at the distal end of the lower extremities. You can see in the picture very clearly, right? So distal end of lower extremities. Very, very important MCQ point. So what are the most common cutaneous lesions the sites are distal end of the lower extremities. So in European type, visceral involvement is rare. MCQ question. Visceral involvement is rare in the European type. So when we describe about the clinical course of the disease, it is usually indolent. Indolent means slow growing means not that aggressive 
or we can say they are the silent neoplasms. So these are the like you know wordings we often use for indolent tumors. So that's the reason clinical course. When we describe about the clinical course, we have to say these are usually indolent, right? Which means silent, not aggressive. These are often indolent, not aggressive, right? And these tumors are typically present as asymptomatic. These are not symptomatic lesions. There's a reason we need to say these are asymptomatic lesions remain localized to the skin as well as subcutaneous tissue. So that is the reason cutaneous lesions are more common in the European type of Kaposi sarcoma, right? Indolent, not aggressive, mainly confined to the skin. Mainly confined to the skin. That's the reason cutaneous involvement is more common even in that the most common location is the distal end of the lower extremities and the visceral involvement is rare. Let me have a quick review about this type. Chronic or classic or European type of Kaposi sarcoma. The predominant risk groups are elderly men who are greater than the age of 60 years. So when we are talking about elderly men, automatically we need to say that it has a male gender predominance where male and female ratio is 3 to 1. In the name of the disease itself, we are saying it has a European Kaposi sarcoma, which means it is more commonly seen in the European individuals, especially in the Ashkenazi Jews as well as Mediterranean descent. And the cutaneous lesions are more common in this type most often located at the distal end of the lower extremities. Visceral involvement is rare. This is the MCQ question. And clinical course, when we describe about uh, the European type, these are often indolent, which means silent, not that aggressive, and mainly confined to the cutaneous areas, that is skin. So this is about European type of Kaposi sarcoma.